Got another question for the equilibrium playlist. So this one includes a KP expression, a KP calculation, and significance of KP values. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So there's your KP expression. In terms of units, well, all these partial pressures are in atmospheres. We've got squared on the top and squared on the bottom, so they'll cancel. So we're left with 1 over ATM, which we would write as ATM to the minus 1. So moving on to the calculation, first thing I'm going to do is work out the moles of SO2 and O2. So we were told that the SO2 filled a 10.2 dm cubed container at RTP. So that over 24 is that many moles. We were told it was 12 grams of O2, so mass over MR gives that many moles. So I always do these questions using an ice table, so initial moles, change of moles, equilibrium moles. So there's our initial moles, and we were told at equilibrium we've got 0.35 moles of SO3. So that increase in moles of SO3 has been brought about by a decrease in the moles of SO2 and O2. So if we think about the ratio, 2 to 2, obviously 1 to 1. So the SO2 is going to drop by the same amount of moles of SO3 that's produced, meaning there'll be 0.075 moles of SO2 left at equilibrium. In terms of the O2, that's going to lose half as many moles because of the ratio, which means there's 0.2 moles of O2 left. So next thing we'll do is work out the total moles at equilibrium, which is 0.625. And that means we can calculate the mole fractions of all the chemicals. So it's just the moles at equilibrium divided by the total moles. So there's the mole fractions. And now we can work out the partial pressures of each chemical. So we multiply the mole fraction by the total pressure, which was 2.5 atmospheres, which gives us those numbers there. And now all we need to do is put them into the KP expression which to three significant figures comes out at 27.2 and remember the units were ATM to the minus one. Moving on to the next part, so we've got to decide whether this new temperature is higher or lower than 1000 Kelvin. So first thing we'll look at is the KP value. It's gone up at this new temperature, which means the equilibrium has moved forwards or to the right. We were given the delta H for the equilibrium and it was negative, so that means the forward reaction is exothermic. So what sort of a temperature is going to favour the forwards exothermic reaction? Well, it's going to be a low temperature. So this second experiment must be carried out at a temperature lower than 1000 Kelvin. And finally, what's the significance of this expression here? Well, this double greater than sign means that Kp is significantly greater than 1. So the equilibrium position is far to the right, or significantly to the right.